good morning everyone as you can see i have added a lot of detail but still there is like uh, this uh, like a lot of scope i can add uh, even more detail and all those layers you can see i have manipulated to reduce 0.3 0.5 and all so today we will start with our posing uh clothes uh, like uh, if you have like a uh, clothes then you can uh, like uh, like create the clothes first then pose it that will be way easier and convenient so okay let's do something so this is duplicate so we'll do clothes so like uh, adding clothes and all in uh, zbrush 2021 is quite easy and simple uh, if you want to add any kind of clothes you can do it very easily let's see suppose this guy is wearing a trouser then i can go select mask or i can import anything from uh, max or maya i can do that as well or you simply select and extract so hide this the bit so so now you have your uh, cloth so you can extract it very easily and but this is not like you can see it's not perfect so what i have to do is geometry z remesh i'll keep my group reason whenever you extract anything you get this uh, border plus this thickness this inside shell double sided keep this border on and 5 means 5000 and remesh it so it will basically remesh the entire uh, mesh and create a nice clean topology you can see your model nice clean smooth mesh then we have this trouser So now you can see in ZBrush 2021, you have lots of cloth brushes. You can see cloth ball, cloth dimple, fold, hook, uh, cloth insert, move, nudge, pinch. There's so many options. Plus there's a uh, transpose cloth is also there. So there are a lot of cloth brushes. If you use these brushes, it will automatically uh, like create the cloth uh, folds and all the wrinkles effect automatically. So let's create something. 
They first have to move and fix it. B and sorry, my bad. B and D first they move and make sure it's not overlapping or intersecting with the B's body. Simply, simply using move brush and moving and covering all those areas, making sure my cloth is uh, covering my body. Okay. Uh, so we run uh, through mobile, like Zoom, we can use mobile, you know, mobile also, right? Then <clears throat> to create cloth, uh, we already if I did uh, add surface noise. Yeah, like surface noise is not necessary as long as your uh, like a skin detail are uh, good enough. If you like some surface noise, basically helps you uh, like basically covers all the empty areas if you miss something. So if you add that, so in case you miss something somewhere, some point or something, it basically cover everything. So that's why it doesn't look like uh, like uh, incomplete. That's the reason. Okay. So I have created this browser. Don't call on both words. Uh, is there any way to cloth simulation? Yes, there is a way of a cloth <coughs> simulation. So press D or go to dynamic sub D, subdivision, switch on dynamic. It basically gives you a preview of uh, subdivision level. It's, a pre it's just a preview. It's not uh, <coughs> your uh, actual subdivision until the, unless you apply it. It's, be, it's basically uh, it's a, a preview. So now you can use subdivision very easily. Select your model. And you can see, okay, let's switch on this one. And you can see there's a ZBrush 2021, you have a dynamic tab. So with, with the help of this, you can uh, like like use uh, like use so you can simulate your cloth like anything you selected. Like if, suppose I have selected this one, and if I click on collision volume, it will uh, read all the uh, like visible uh, parts 
Like anything is visible. Like right now, this body is visible. Just everything hidden. So you read that. Then you can simulate. But you can see it creates all folds and everything. So there are a lot of the gravity strength is ten. Ten, I can reduce it. So a floor collision is on. A strength I can uh, reduce. Firmness I can uh, increase. And maximum point of simulation is how many times simulation going to run. So I can run it. So that selected area won't be affected. If I deselect it and run it, it will fall. Because that. There, there are a lot of you can see inflate, deflate, contract. Everything is there. Or you can just simply use all these brushes available, like hook tool or move tool to use move. Suppose I want to use move. Because I have calculated the collision volume is on, so it's reading the body. That distance. Okay, and the increase is one. Thank you. Inflate is zero. Yeah, now it's fine. So zero was way too much. I can use like point five, point two, or point three. So it doesn't uh, well, point one. It will collide with your body. Because that inflate was uh, switched on, that's why it's inflated uh, point two one. So you can just make sure this is inflated point one point zero zero one, depending upon your scale of the model, and then you can modify and create all the folds very easily. It will auto generate with most of the same most of the folds. And if you don't want symmetrical, you can do it asymmetric as well. Okay, just give me a second and just undo it. Dynamic and my route fine. You can see the inflate is 0.01, so it's uh, like it's uh, like next to your body, it uh, snaps to your body very easily.
like these uh, all these things you can create very easily without any uh, like problem it will generate automatically and there are like you can see tons or uh, tons of brushes nudge it suppose you want to simply nudge it down or up it will create all these wrinkles You can see, to create that that zigzag pattern automatically. You can see it becomes really easy now. ZBrush can simulate a cloth and everything, and if you just have to extract the shape and create it. It becomes it's very easy and simple, and <clears throat> you can create any kind of shape. Uh, suppose um, let's see, I'll append something. Let's append a plane. So uh, for this also, I'll switch on D. If you press D, is basically switch on your dynamic subdivision. Yes, and then I can select a corner, and then or I can go to dynamic subdivision. You can see um, press on. And by default, two. I can crank it up to like four. It's quite high. Four. Now it's selected. Let's move this. This part is now free. Anything is selected, uh, like mask. That area won't be affected. <clears throat> then you can see there's a uh, there's a separate transpose brush named transpose cloth. If you select this and then move it. You can see it simulates, and it basically you re read this thing already into like <clears throat> so. It's on your collision volume. It will read your body as a collision. The like same like Mac, you have that option. You create like any kind of fold, anything drapery. Very easy. You can see it reacts with this. Generate this entire thing it becomes quite easy to create any kind of fold. <clears throat> so let's, okay, let's keep it small only and dynamics up there. Make it four, like a bit high. So, <clears throat> like if you select any corner, any mask, basically you mask any part. That part won't be affected. Rest everything will be affected. So I'm using transpose cloth. You can see there's a transpose option. There's a transport a transport or uh, smart option and transpose cloth option. So we'll be using this for the. This is something we are uh, treating as a cloth. So we can use cloth. Just give me a second. It's saving. Yeah. Then W. And now it is simply. Snap it on my body. See, 
then if I want to move it even further, it will react as a cloth fabric with all folds, wrinkles. It's all auto generated. Then if you want to move it again, you can use, you can see there's a hook, uh, cloth hook brush, cloth move brush. You can use any one, one of them. It's like kind of easy. Like in 2021, it's like very easy to simulate cloth and create anything. It's very, very easy. It automatically basically generate all those things. And suppose you have this uh, thing and you want to somewhere in between, you want to simulate something, smooth it, and then I can run simulation. Gravity, only for that section. To create this, like it's totally uh, like up to you or like what you uh, imagine, you can create it very easily. Like there, okay, like uh, let's show you some basic fundamentals of cloth, like how it works. Because traditionally, like before 2021, we used to sculpt everything. Uh, we uh, like we used to create uh, like manually sculpt everything, or we used to use marvelous designers to create cloth. Uh, but uh, like there are lo lots of lots of time you have to create it manually. So that time, what we used to do is we uh, collect a lot of references. And let's take a plane. So we used to collect a lot of references and how we used to sculpt it. It's uh, there are some basic uh, fundamentals like cloth. Suppose this. Is, oh, sorry, my bad. I said what simple N. Yeah. Shift F, I can sorry, cancel. Uh, shift F, control D, D, couple of times. I just subdivided. Couple of times. So that I have decent amount of polygons and I can work on them. So basic fundamental, like cloth, <clears throat> there are three kinds of folds. Like uh, typically. One is like free fall. Like where you, uh, the edge of your uh, this thing, uh, table, or maybe there's something free falling cloth, or maybe a skirt, all those things. There's like something called free fall. Uh, fall. So in that point, <clears throat> we have a tension point basically. So you can use a standard brush. Like this is your tension point. And from here, the cloth will fall directly in multiple direction. Positive and negative. And you can see I'm using only and only standard brush, nothing fancy. BMB move brush and move and if you have a like <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um, just give me a second. Okay, so So first thing is like your, uh, you have one tension point or one point from where your cloth is free falling. That's your free fall. Then uh, let's open one more plane. Okay, we have to get that. Huh? Couple D D D. Couple of times. Okay. 
then you have a uh, uh, standard brush. Then you, this is your one point free fall. Then you have suppose you have two points from one point to another point, two tension points, and uh, you have this slot screen. So this is your one point, another point. So whenever you have something like uh, something like this, like two point of this thing, so basically always goes like this, crisp cross. And it kind of creates a zigzag. Always. Then you can add this negative area. So uh, like this, but there are like a little bit, uh, this one is the simplest one. This is a bit complex. Uh, like you create this zigzag point, and this also like this is this thing is effect, affected by gravity. This is this is only and only gravity. This is this pattern plus gravity. So due to gravity, the last fold will be bit flattened, like softened, because due to gravity, the pull is strong. It becomes soft, and BMD move brush. This. First one have the most uh, this the distance between the first one and the second one will be less. Then it will gradually increase. Do see B. I can use clay build up or I can use standard brush only. Like for this kind of uh, stuff, a uh, standard brush works perfectly. So you have this one is uh, like free fall. Then you have this zigzag fold from two tension points. Then, uh, then you have uh, one more where you usually like in between tight areas like uh, thigh, bicep, or maybe knee. Like uh, where you have this uh, really uh, tight cloth or something where it's wrapped around really tightly. For those area, they basically create like uh, kind of this. X kind of thing. Too big. gradually blend into your, the into the surface. So create something like this. And if you want, just soften it out. Make sure the center point is not bulged out. It's kind of on the same surface. So if you have something like this, so let's use it on a surface. A 
So let's create something. That is, and then dynamic. So it becomes a solid single object. Dynamic. Dynamic. So like suppose you have something like this and you want to create like suppose arm or leg or something. You want to create a fold. So you basically call like whenever you create fold, it's uh, basically combination of all these, uh, all uh, three of this. So initially, like suppose it's a bicep. This will fall freely. That's crisscross pattern. Then and from here it will fall freely. Add some fold. Then you can just reduce the brush size, refine them nicely, make them a bit sharp. And plus, there's a fold brush. If you want to use that, you can use that uh, as well with the help of a uh, little less low intensity. So you can see it will be really strong. So make sure with less intensity. This is something what if you want to create uh, all these things manually in that case, or you can just simply simulate it directly with the help of all these brushes. Uh, move brush. See? With the help of move brush, you can create all these folds very easily. The floor, the floor collision is on. Yes, the dynamic subdivision on. So uh, this is the easiest way to create any fold drinkers or anything. It's like very easily you can do it. <clears throat> With the help of this. So like this is something needs a little bit practice and uh, like observation, a lot of observation. So <clears throat> before creating any flow, first block out the basic structure, then, uh, then start adding folds and you should have decent amount of references to follow. Because uh, in, initially you need to have a lot of reference to copy from. Then once you are used to of those uh, folds and wrinkles and everything, and you are you know exactly how it works, then you can do it uh, things by yourself. So like uh, first try to uh, like have some reference and try to copy that reference and create something exactly like the reference. 
then move to next step, uh, next step, and change it. Sir, uh, any way to get his, no? There's no way to get his brushes in 2020. It's part of 2021. Um, uh, sir, so I don't have proper network. From the disconnected to from home, so I couldn't join. Okay. Okay. Ha. So like, uh, like either you <coughs> have to upgrade. <clears throat> so ZBrush 2021, or you can just simply use the traditional process. That that I explained this thing. You can use the traditional process. Both will give you a uh, nice, uh, good quality detail and good quality uh, result. But uh, thing is, like a traditional technique, will uh, you have to work hard. You have to create everything by yourself with the help with the help of a reference. Or if you use the simulation. Uh, like a lot of things, like fifty percent, say fifty, sixty percent things will be done automatically, right? So it will reduce your uh, like hard work or reduce your time uh, to, to create this thing by fifty percent. So use this. Which one? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this is the character. Uh, like body, like uh, first you consider the body structure. This character is quite wide, and men uh, they don't have this R shape, a shape class, this uh, body type. And okay, what is this? Okay, let's so see to, to widen it up. <coughs> Shoulder. Elbow curve. My cook. Kind of pointy. Mm-hmm. 